when we're looking for a rational equation, again, the same thing. We're only concerned about where the denominator is going to equal 0. If the we are concerned about the numerator. Now, if the numerator is not a continuous function, then that's different. But let's look at the numerator. The numerator is 3x minus 3. Is that a continuous function? Yes. So it's not going to affect our domain. The only thing that's going to affect our domain is the values when the denominator is equal to 0. That's the only thing that's going to affect our domain in this example, because our numerator is continuous. So I'm just going to set my denominator equal to 0, and I'm going to have to solve. And I know we haven't talked much about factoring today, so I mean we'll be doing more of that in this class. But let's just kind of go through this, guys. If you need to solve this, first thing you want to do is see if you can factor out any common factor. And you guys can see that they're all divisible by 3. All right, now I could divide out this 3. That's not really affecting my solutions. OK? And now, basically, what I need to do is identify uh, or try to see what two numbers multiply to give me 2, add to give me negative 3. Since it's a quadratic trinomial, I know this can be factored into a binomial squared. And yes, Elliot? Yeah, so I can factor this into x minus 2 times x minus 1 equals 0. Now, if you remember in quadratics from algebra 2, you can apply the 0 product property. So therefore, x equals 2 and x equals 1. Now again, we got to understand, what does it mean when x equals 2 and when x equals 1? What it means is that the function is going to be 0 in the denominator. Therefore, the function is undefined, right? So at those values, our function is defined. That means our function is true for all real numbers except 2 and 1. Does that make sense? So if I was going to write my domain, I would say my domain is going to be from, so it's, let's actually do a number line for this one. Sometimes the number line will help. So let's do here's 1, and then at here's 2. So everything is good from here to here. Everything is good between them, and then everything is good after. So remember, guys, when you have a function that's split up like this, just write the domain of each section. Can we write the domain from negative infinity to here? Right, yeah. So we just write negative infinity to positive 1. And again, we're using parentheses because we're using open circles. Then let's write the domain from here to here, 1 to 2. Okay, so 1 to 2. Oops, I don't know where infinity came from. You can. I'm, I'm doing it both ways. So I'll do, I mean, I'll, I'm just mixing it up for you guys. And then you can do 2 to infinity. More likely than not, on a multiple choice test, you will see the union symbol. So it, you should be very familiar with the union symbol. Yes? No? Questions? <laughs> 